Okay, so if you want to build an under trailer spare tire hoist, it's pretty easy. It's a weekend job. Uh, get yourself a Chevy Silverado spare tire winch. They're about 25 bucks on Amazon. And some 2 inch by 2 inch by 8th wall angle iron. I, I bought two 10 footers and it did the whole thing with some extra. So I made it 71 inches long, which is about the typical trailer I beam spacing. And I made it 14 inches wide. Uh, just that seemed to be appropriate to fully support the tire once it comes up. I took a uh, half inch drive extension, cut it off, and extended it with some half inch round steel. And this is actually is how you winch it from the side. And this is about 24 inches to the center up here. I did this because this is one spare tire, but in the future I may put two. So I could do a whole nother apparatus here and activate it from that end and have two spares carried under here. I put a, I welded on a three quarter nut here so you can use the same tool to um, drive it up and down as your jack, stabilizing jacks. And I put a little cotter pin here to keep the whole thing in place so it can rotate. Now here I cut some slots in some five inch angle and this is where the tire is actually going to rest on here. So the whole thing flips over and when you crank it up the tire will rest right on these little benches here. And then I had to cut the cable and add my own bracket because the bracket that comes with it is way too small for some reason and comes right through the center hole of the spare tire. So I made my own steel uh, bracket that goes into the rim of the spare tire. And I tacked on a half inch stud here just to locate it in one of the holes. This spring came with the hoist and then I put two cable clamps on there. And I'll probably cut this off a little shorter. This keeps your tire up basically, you know, 10 inches from the frame or 12 inches. And uh, we'll see how much ground clearance. I did locate the uh, first hole about 13 and a half inches from the front spring perch on the trailer chassis. So 13 and a half inches from there to keep the weight kind of off the tongue and more on the axles. So that's about it. Now we'll flip it over and uh, see if it works. Okay, so this is what it's going to be like under the trailer. Let that down. Put your plate through the center of the hole. Gotta go down a little bit more. I put two studs on there just to keep it centered, I don't know yet. Secure. It hits on all the, the benches. Everything looks good.
So, if you want to do this, it's not too bad of a job. Two by two by eighth inch angle iron. It makes it uh, nice and sturdy. You could do two tires. Do another one on that side if you need to. I don't know if I'm going to do that yet. And other than that, now I'm going to bolt it up underneath. And I'll take you a final shot of that. Thank you for watching. Okay, so here is the spare tire tucked up under the trailer body. We have room for another one over there, which I may or may not do, depending on need. But yeah, we have good ground clearance here. You can see it's tucked up in there. nicely and that's it